Hello, welcome to Top Whistle, the Irish Whistle Review Show. On this episode, I'm reviewing another Jay Milligan whistle, believe it or not. And this whistle was actually loaned to me by a viewer of the show called Darren Maloney. And he got in touch with me because he's a big fan of the show and he wanted me to review this whistle particularly, as I had not reviewed this one before. And by all means, any viewers of the show who wish to loan me their whistles to review that I have not even had the chance to review yet, you can do so. And the most direct way to get in contact with me is through my website, www.davidcartmelpianist.com or alternatively, you can leave a comment in the comment box below. Unlike the other whistles that I have previously reviewed by G Milligan, this whistle is made from plastic Delrin and by all means, if you wish to get one for yourselves, then yes, there'll be a link in the description box below for you to browse G Milligan's website. This whistle will set you back around 185 American dollars. And with all that I've mentioned, is this whistle any good? We're about to find out. After playing this instrument, I have to say there's a lot of good things that goes in this whistle's favour, hands down, just like the previous G Milligans that I've previously reviewed. With regards to the volume, because of the Quiet Session mouthpiece, which I have previously reviewed, the volume is the same, it's about an 8 out of 10, so if you're playing in an environment like a bar, in a band, playing a loud session in a loud environment where people are talking, things can be heard in the background, you will be heard with this whistle, hands down, despite it being considered the quiet mouthpiece. So this is a good alternative to the loud session mouthpiece, which I have previously reviewed, which I had a lot of issues with regards to losing your breath quite easily. So with this thing, you won't lose your breath and you will be heard with this whistle, I can guarantee it. And I found it had very good wind resistance in the outdoor test, so if you are a busker, you want to be heard, you will be heard with this whistle, I guarantee it, even in a loud like street where people are walking past you, cars, etc. So this is also a very good busking whistle as well as a professional session instrument. And I definitely would describe this whistle's feel as being more mellow in tone with a bit of chip to it. Whereas I found the wooden whistle that I have previously reviewed had a more airy tone and the aluminium whistle was very sharp and bright by comparison. The whistle is maintenance free, which is another good thing that goes in its favor. And it's pretty much has no issues with regards to clogging. So I played this thing for two hours nonstop during the tests and I did not have to clear out the mouthpiece or the ball once. So that was another thing that went in this one's favor. And with regards to the clumsy test, don't worry, no damage has been done to this whistle, so for Darren Maloney who's watching, he can rest easy before I send it back to him. I'm just merely saying that the plastic bore is quite robust, so with regards, if you're a clumsy user or someone has kids throwing things about, then the actual plastic bits will survive, no problems, but again, because of the brass, that will get damaged and dented easily, so... 
if you are not careful you will get dents on the brass bits and of course because of the brass bits the whistle will easily get tarnished from an aesthetic perspective and damage but with regards to it's the actual bore and the mouthpiece it's pretty robust so it's only the aesthetics that will be affected that is a downside to the whistle and in a nutshell it's tunable so if you wish to achieve the concert pitch that facility too is there but despite the little cons with regards to the aesthetics I think you'll find that in reality this is a good whistle hands down After weighing the good and the bad points, I've decided to score this G Milligan whistle a respectable, hmm, a 10 out of 10. Because I feel that it's a whistle that's great for both professionals and novices. It's very easy to use because of the quiet session mouthpiece, which in my opinion makes all the difference. Because the breath handling is perfect with the quiet session mouthpiece head. And of course the handling and the sound tone and Pretty much everything about it is just right. And on that note, I do hope you've enjoyed the show. By all means, you can follow me on social media through Facebook and Twitter. And of course, I'm also a musician for hire. And if you wish to hire my services for your special events, you can go to my website, www.davidcartmelpianist.com. As mentioned before, if you have a whistle that I've not yet reviewed and you wish for, to loan it to me to review on a future episode, you're also more than welcome to get in touch with me through the website that I've just mentioned. And you can also support my channel further by making a donation to my channel on Coffee. the proceeds of which go towards purchasing and reviewing more whistles for future episodes. The links for all of them are in the description box below. And on that note, I hope you've enjoyed the show. I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Goodbye.